Hey, what up boys? EE's 12 inch back at you with another video. This video, y'all uh, are probably already asking a whole bunch of questions. I know everybody's already beating me here, but uh, here we are with it. Uh, you may see I'm uh, chaining with a little Richard YSG, getting a little nostalgia in here to answer the big question at everybody's minds. Should you be investing in a YSG or has the new commander ZL completely overtaken him? As you can see, I've started to invest in ZL. I think he's an absolutely excellent commander. And the question that everybody keeps asking me is, hey, should I be investing in YSG since ZL is essentially replacing him with the Boudicca ZL march or if I'm running two archer marches maybe something else goes. So uh, I'm just going to go into a little bit about uh, my point of view, where I think the state of the game's at, what I think about YSG, what I think about relic coins, um, and we can just talk about like casual versus competitive. So off rip, if you're a casual player, if you're not in the top alliance, if you don't think you're going to hit T5 pre-sock, you probably shouldn't get YSG. I'm having a very bad day. I'm in no more. Period. Full stop. Um, I just don't think it makes a lot of sense. Why she's a great commander, don't get it twisted. Um, it's just, you know, your average person is not going to be able to get enough value out of him fast enough in order to make him good. So if you are average, casual, you can click off the video immediately. You're already finished. Now, if y'all are regular 12-inch uh, viewers over here and y'all watch this, this content a lot and I tell you how to chain and how to be the best, um, and how we're going to be as efficient as possible, F2P and all that good stuff, then, you know, sit around because we, we got a little bit more to talk about. So previously, if you guys remember, um, I used to talk about Alexander the Great. Um, and when I would talk about Alex, I'd be like, hey, if you can finish him before KVK2, it is probably still a decent invest, right? You could probably fit him somewhere within a sock march. He's getting a relic. Um, like Alex still has some kind of value. Well, now, um, now that KVK3 is going to have sock commanders, Alex is no longer on the table. You never invest in him. However, in the place of where Alex was, YSG kind of now is. Now he's a better option than Alex was because YSG does a lot more stuff. So like currently uh, I'm in season of conquest and I'm investing into LZ. And so just, you know, th these marches will be dated, you know, away in the future and people are still asking this question. But I mean, as of right now, I'm going to be rocking Nevsky Joan. I'm going to be rocking Juan Alex. I'm going to be rocking Boudica ZL and I'll be rocking Scipio YSG. So I'm going to have four decent quality marches to be able to run these commanders. Um, it's not like Alex has fallen out of my lineup yet. It's not like YSG has fallen out of my lineup. I'm not saying go invest in Alex, but I am saying if I were to restart the game again tomorrow, I would still plan to expertise YSG. I think it's an absolutely fine investment. The amount of value I've gotten out of this guy is absolutely ludicrous. And I think what people uh, fail to recognize is you're in KVK3 probably around like seven to eight months of playtime, something like that. So you're essentially investing in nothing for your first like seven to eight months. I think it's really easy for like super old players to be like, hey, like just don't do anything until Season of Conquest, but I think it's extremely hard to play the game that way. Another thing is if you're going for an honor skin KVK1, if you're going for an honor skin KVK2, you need YSG. We won't need it for KVK3 or nothing like that, but I mean, you know, if you want to fight and you want to get honor um, in early KVKs and you're an active player, I'm mean, getting YSG is kind of a no-brainer. He just, he is the only circular AoE. Now, if they bring out the Persian civilization, which they have on the docket, and that's got a circular AoE and it doesn't need to be expertise, then YSG is probably even further devalued and probably not invested in. But as of right now, if I were to restart the game, I would definitely invest in YSG. Again, like my main three reasons reasons here are going to be because I can expertise him within his first three wheels. If you can do that, right, you're getting him in a timely manner. So just like in the same with Alex, where it's like if you can expertise him before the end of KVK2, he's good. If you can expertise YSG before the, the his, his third wheel, you're good. So if you're coming to the first YSG wheel and you have, let's say, 250 to 350 sculptures, you can probably squeeze it in. If you come to the first YSU wheel and you've got 500 to 600 sculptures, should be probably a no-brainer. The second reason is I chain. I chain a ton. Um, YSU right here has 4.4 billion barb kills. Um, he has enough XP to level him up like a gazillion times over if I, if I plan to. He just is strong. He is a strong commander full stop. He is not the strongest commander. Just good doesn't equal great. In, in Season of Conquest, but he's good enough to where I, I'd want him early, and he's great for chaining in a world where there are no other circular AoEs. Where you're trying to do, use Ethelfled for her like half circle, if you try to chain with Ethelfled, you understand the pain. Again, I, I would implore, if you're an older player, and you have access to like four circular AoEs like Theodora, Cyrus, Heracleus, I encourage you to think about what it was like to be a newer player uh, playing with just Ethelfled right? And what it would actually be like to just run epics all the way until Sock. And finally, I think my last reason why I would still expertise him 
is because you can drop him behind um, ZL, you can drop him behind Boudica, you could even drop him behind Nebu or, or Henry. I mean, like, YSG still has a bunch of really nice pairings. Uh, YSG as a commander is like not completely fallen off. His archer attack is really nice. His circular AOE is really nice. The skill damage is really nice. And the final thing I will say is when you play in KVKs, especially in KVKs like Heroic Anthem or something, and you see YSG on these Bastions, right? YSG has some of the nastiest Bastion skills in the game. We're talking like up there with oblique tactics coming out of, uh, out of Belisarius, right? So once you get to Season of Conquest and you see a YSG Bastion, the difference between getting 20% skill damage and 50% skill damage is palpable. This is never something you really want to give up on. And for those reasons, if I were to restart the game, I would still invest in him. Again, I'm a competitive player. The people I'm talking to here are competitive players. If you're a casual player, you play 30 minutes a day, you're in the third string alliance, and you're, you're like 15 million power coming to Season of Conquest, you should probably skip him. But my videos aren't generally for you guys anyway. Um, you know, it's generally for the more competitive players. I don't think like Shish School or other content creators and they tell you guys not to invest in YSG are wrong. Um, I just think they're saying it for a more casual player base. Um, and that's where the confusion comes in. If you guys enjoyed the video, hey, make sure to drop a like, a comment, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Um, if you guys are interested in supporting the stream, I have a donation link in the description below. You can always donate to that or you can just drop a like. Either way really helps. I appreciate you guys showing up. Um, if you guys are watching this video, there's a good chance I'm probably live. Um, I'm almost always live, so you should check that out as well. If you guys want notifications for when I do go live or you want to contact me while I'm not live, the single place, place to find me is that Discord in the description below. Also, I do private coaching. So when you guys hear that uh, there are casual players and competitive players and I do this and that for each one of them, these are uh, specific things that I say because I've seen so many accounts, right? There are so many different accounts that I can look at. If you guys are interested in private coaching, it is $35 a session. You guys can always hit me up. Uh, just DM me on Discord and say, hey, I'm interested in coaching. I've probably done damn near 200 uh, sessions at this point. So if you guys are interested in that type of thing, um, just shoot me a PM. Other than that, have yourselves a great one. Thank you for dropping by. Bye.